Hi, I'm Vibrine Samuels and I'm your tech translator here at The Smart Years. So today I bring you the second in my series around future tech jobs. So if you're a foodie, you're into playing Cupid or you're compassionately uh, driven, then these three may appeal to you. So right across the world, we're seeing this rise in aging populations because of better health care and medicine and, you know, taking better care of ourselves. And so the longer that we live in, which could well exceed 100 years, we still have the opportunity to be in relationships. And the nature of the relationships may change. So we're seeing this rise with human and robotic type of relationships. What could that mean from an ethical point of view? We're looking at uh, monogamy and polyamory. What could that mean in terms of ethics? So if you're somebody who enjoys playing Cupid and wants to actually guide people around the ethical choices regarding their relationships, then you might want to retrain in this particular area. Another rise uh, in a new industry, which I think is really going to explode, is around food foraging experts. So what are we seeing? We're seeing that there's a rise in the cost of food in the terms of uh, healthy organic food choices. And with Brexit that is looming on the horizon, what we're going to see is this wider divide between people who can actually afford healthy food and those who cannot. And for those who cannot, if we think we've seen a problem with food banks, we haven't seen anything yet because we all have to eat. And if people cannot afford to buy healthy food, they may be forced to buy their food from the dark web, which is completely unregulated. And if we think we've got a problem with undiagnosable illnesses, if you start eating food from the dark net, it could become even more problematic. So as a foraging food expert, what you're doing is that you're somebody who has a love and passion for food and you're retraining to teach us how to forage, how to hunt, how to find, how to harvest wild foods and that could be in the form of nuts and seeds and berries and mushrooms and mm, edible plants and vegetables. And it's a great way for us to be out in nature, communing with nature, understanding where healthy organic food can come from. So I think there's going to be an explosion in terms of people who are retraining as food foraging experts. You could be somebody who's going into schools and colleges and universities, everywhere we, where we populate the world, there's going to be a rise and probably a demand for this type of expert. Which brings me also now to uh, another industry that really is beginning to rise up. We all meet it, and I call this the end of life strategist. So you could be somebody who is a multi-potentialite. That means somebody who has an interest, skills and expertise in a variety of different areas. If I take myself, I describe myself as a multi-potentialite. So I, I'm an astrologer. There's a deep interest and knowledge around emotional intelligence. I'm a rookie software engineer. I'm a writer and I'm a broadcaster. Four very different things, but actually I... I am that person. And so with the end of life strategist, you may be somebody who's very compassionate, works well with people. So you could be a clinician, doctor, nurse, healthcare profession. You could be somebody who has, you know, an interest, let's say in uh, fintech, you know, particularly with the rise of cryptocurrencies, understanding financial markets. You could be somebody who's guiding people because of your compassionate ear around bereavement counselling. You could be an asset allocator. You could be all of these different things in one person. This new uh, burgeoning sector, the end of life strategists, this could really fit within your skill set. If not, you could be the person who is coordinating this multidisciplinary range of services that helps us all transition from life into death. So if you have skills and knowledge and uh, wisdom around being compassionate, being a foodie and love playing Cupid, these 
three new jobs, new sectors, new professions could really appeal to your nature. So that's it. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the comment box below. I'd love to engage with you. And I'll be bringing you another set of new jobs that are on the horizon that's being driven by these technological changes. So until then, stay well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.